talk about a YouTuber named Mama Max. As of earlier this month, he threatened to false flag Lurex's videos, or at least Lurex's livestream VODs. And if you don't know who Mama Max is, he is a YouTuber with over 700 subscribers who is claiming to be a filmmaker dedicated to empowering children. Recently, as of a few days ago, he either privated, unlisted, or deleted most of his videos about Canon Gerard Davis. He also put his old videos back on public again recently after he got backlash for his handling of the case. And if you don't know who Lurix is, he is a commentary YouTuber with over 61k thousand subscribers. And Lurix had a live channel called Lurix, which was formerly known as Lurix Live, and it has over 7,000 subscribers. Recently, as of January 6, he tweeted that Mama Max just went to lag my channel. Now it says here, please note that during your recent live stream, you revealed the real name of a survivor who wished to remain anonymous. To protect our privacy, we kindly ask you to promptly remove or edit this portion of your stream. And if you check his live section on that channel, it's no longer there. But on the bright side, it did turn into a video and stare. Additionally, we want to highlight the potential danger if Candon Gerard Davis used this stream, as it could put the survivor's life at risk. Given your stance on names and doxing, we trust you understand the gravity of this situation and will act accordingly. Oh please. An alleged woman prayer isn't going to look up Mama Max and see that lyrics is stream. Alright, cause that's not happening. If this issue isn't addressed promptly, we will need to contact our YouTube partner Nanger. We appreciate your immediate attention to this sensitive matter. Mama Max, if you think that lyrics is to blame for one of your fucking mishaps, then you're simply delusional. Lurix then follows up with a question. Do you have a timestamp or something where I did this? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Who are you accusing me of doxy in my stream? I am not accusing you of doxy. Uh, technically you are. Their name was present in our Discord group chat. Now keep that in mind when Mama Max says their main was present in our Discord group chat. We sent you the timestamp in the link. The person we are talking about is Ishmael, who is labeled as redacted on your stream. This is at their request. All right, I saw it and I will have to delete the VOD and will re-upload it with that heart censored. Is that why you privated your VOD? But yeah, is that all in regards to the stream? Because I don't want to get strike when I re-upload the kit clip for anything else, so let me know now. And Mama Max says, thank you. Yes, due to privacy considerations, we have made our stream private. However, if you don't want to get striked, I must express my concerns regarding the patterns we've observed in your behavior and the nature of the community you are cultivating. He is not cultivating. Your channel is at risk of being terminated if these issues persist. Promoting a community that engages in bullying, especially targeting survivors of child sex crimes is deeply troubling. And now Mama Max just made another false accusation. I strongly recommend you reflect on the impact of your actions and the environment you're creating. We'll be checking in on you periodically. Have a good night. And by checking in, he means spying. 
Then Lurik says, what a weird message. Hey man, I was more than willing to comply with you over our privacy concerns and just told you I would comply. But what this is shit with you vaguely threatening to flag my channel for bullying? I make jokes. I haven't bullied or targeted any survivors of child sex crimes, dude. And what is this word usage deeply troubling? Give me a break. Talk like a human and not a politician. Please note that during your recent live stream, you revealed the name of a survivor who wished to remain anonymous. And I'm like immediately, immediately reading this like, what? I, I revealed the survivor who wanted to be anonymous. What, what, what are you talking about? What? Exactly because Lurex is not the one who leaked it on street. The name of the so-called victim was already shown publicly when Mama Max went live. Talking about what the fuck did I do? Um, I, I didn't go on fucking Kiwi Farms and find out like information. Like, uh, what do you mean? I've only been reporting on public things. All the information I have is from things that you've released to the internet, Mama Max. But uh, he blames it on me. You revealed the real name of a survivor you wish to who wished to remain anonymous to protect their privacy. We kindly ask you to promptly remove or edit this portion of your stream. Additionally, we want to highlight the potential danger if Camden Gerard Davis views this stream. What? As it could be, as it could put the survivor's life at risk. What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Motherfucker. I mean, am I naive for just like calling complete bullshit here and thinking he's just looking for any excuse possible to try to get my um, VOD taken down because he got embarrassed? Yes, Lurks, that's exactly why. He is embarrassed of taking the criticism that he rightfully deserves. This is an insane, like, hypothetical request. You're really telling me that the fucking vampire pet file is viewing my shitty YouTube channel with 3K subs and viewing my VOD live stream, and he's gonna notice the specific detail of one of the victim's names coming out, and then that's gonna put the survivor's life at risk because now Camden knew that this survivor came out with her story. And once again, I cannot stress this enough, an alleged woman prey isn't going to look up Mama Max and see Lurix's stream. Because that's not happening. Like, what are you, what are you fucking talking about? My, my shit had like 4k views. My VOD had like 3k, 4k views. I mean, this just sounds like an insane hypothetical that fucking this guy is viewing my YouTube channel and therefore gonna like now hunt out the survivor because she gave her account of her story on your stream and I happen to restream it and talk to you. It really just seems like he was looking for any excuse possible to try to get me uh, to take down my VOD. But then he says, given your stance on names and doxing, we trust you understand the gravity of the situation and will act accordingly. If this issue isn't addressed promptly, we will need to contact our YouTube partner manager. And also, first of all, why is he talking? Who is we? Is he like speaking on the behalf? Is <laughs> as he's writing this fucking Discord DM, does he have his gain of fucking victims behind him telling him what to say? Is it the whole cult behind him instructing him on what to do here? I mean, that's just like a bizarre thing. We? He's talking like he's like hired a lawyer to send me a fucking Discord DM. Give me a break. If I don't address this issue promptly, he's gonna need to contact his YouTube partner manager. And uh, he appreciates your my immediate attention to this sensitive manner. So, I mean, he's threatening to take my shit down. He's threatening to file a privacy complaint on my VOD because of me showing the Discord call, which to give all the context, what he's talking about here is this clip he sends me in Discord 
is a clip of me showing the Discord call that I had with Mama Max on stream. And the Discord call happened to show the real name of one of the victims. I'm not going to say one of the victims because I mean, I mean potential victims because I don't want to risk that shit of getting a privacy complaint. But this genius survivor decided to like, she had a fake name on Max's stream. She went by a fake alias when she was telling her story, but the genius didn't like have the idea to change her discord name. So like when I, I joined the call, it showed up as her name in the call, her real name. It was the survivor's fault that she had her name in the discord group chat because she, a dumb fuck that she is, didn't know that somebody else was going to be live and that stupid survivor didn't bother to change it at all. But it only becomes an issue when their name was present in our Discord group chat when Lurk streamed it. Yeah, sure it's his fault. Sure. So, I mean... That, I mean, that seems like a fair request. I think it's pretty stupid. And that's somehow your fault. Yeah, I mean, that's fucking ridiculous. The fact he's trying to blame me so hard, like I revealed the real name of the survivor who wished to remain anonymous. Like I went out of my way to be like, yeah, this is this bitch's name. Hold on, this is you and your survivor's mistake. It's not my mistake for showing the Discord call live on stream. You should have thought about this beforehand. And also apparently, that's Max's excuse for him privating his VOD. Like, as I'm gonna go over in more of these DMs, he says the reason why he privated his VOD was because of that he leaked the name too and because of privacy concerns. So you're the one who made the fucking mistake. Who are you to come to me with like, like this aggression? Like I'm the one who did something. No, motherfucker, this is your mistake. You should be coming to me in good grace and saying like, hey, I fucked up. Do you think you could censor this because I accidentally forgot to, um, uh, tell this specific victim to change your name on Discord and I accidentally showed it on my stream too. So I would just appreciate it if you could, um, you know, take it down yourself. But whatever. At the end of the day, he's talking to me very fucking weird and he's threatening to strike me. But at the end of the day, if it's a concern on doxing someone's name or releasing someone's name, I, I'm, that's a fine request. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'll just re-upload it and I'll censor the name. It's not that deep. I'm more than willing to do that. So then I respond to this, just like being amicable. I'm not necessarily like being hyper aggressive. I just say, do you have a timestamp or something where I did this? I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Who are you accusing me of doxing in my stream? And then he respond, and then uh, he responds saying, I'm not accusing you of doxing. Their name was present in our Discord group chat. We sent you the timestamp in the link. The person we are talking about is Ishmael, who is labeled as, and then this is the real person's name. Obviously, I censored it to post it on Twitter, um, on your stream, and this is at their request. Well, here's my request for the so-called stupid ass victim. Change your name before you made it public in the first place questions on why it's been taken down because i did have to private the stream yesterday which is really unfortunate because i had a lot of gold moments and good moments on that stream but mama max in his evidence like discord server is now like flagging and telling his whole like server which granted his server is probably like only like 20 people 30 people max but um he's now enforcing his whole server to go report and flag my, it seems like my VOD, it, it, it seems like um, Mr. Sen's VOD, anyone who's talking about the leaks, he's now reporting or flagging and like outright calling. You know, the fact that Mama Max is brigading to use his followers to report someone else's VODs as well as Lyrics's is extremely psychotic at best now let's just get one thing straight here threatening lyrics over the constructive criticism that he gave you mama max is deplorable at best call to action like calling him voice critical it uh i i don't know a better word other than just saying it was just like it came across as, like really manipulative and that mm -hmm. you were kind of, I guess, weaponizing your audience in a sense to then kind of get them to be forced to respond to you. Mm. 
because I, I like I was being charitable when I first saw your Discord DMs that you leaked in the thing. You said, you know what? If there's no obligation to cover this, like there's no expectation, and that's fine. Which that was like a normal, respectful DM, and you know, uh, that's mm-hmm. that's fine. That's the I, I think that's the good way to go about it. Because just because you have 10 million subscribers or whatever, you don't have like an obligation, or there shouldn't be an expectation that you talk about the like real world issues. But then mm-hmm. you make a video adding him, getting your whole fan base involved, and you you kind of know what you're doing. You're just sending your audience to go and tell him if you don't cover this you don't care about these kids or these people who got taken advantage of so i guess i uh, i guess how would you respond to that critique like how do you justify that the way you went about it i did not mean for it to come off as like if you don't respond you don't care about kids it was more so this is an important issue you are an important person who can save lives with literally one upload about it this is this is my one shot at getting your attention. Here we go. Um, yeah, because your one shot of the way you approach Charlie Monaco when he had COVID was way way out of line. If you simply just leave Charlie alone, none of this would have happened. And. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, what, yeah. what if I like told you, I guess right now, you're covering, you know, you're covering serious issues with your YouTube channel. But what if I told you like, you know, there's a bigger issue even going on, even than what you're covering with Israel and Palestine. So why aren't you making mm-hmm. videos about that? Like, I feel like you can always play this game saying that the thing you're covering right now, it's not as important as this other huge world issue where uh, obviously I wouldn't put that standard on you just because you have 760K subs, you know, you shouldn't have an obligation to cover these things just because you're right. a big like YouTuber, you know? Well, Lyrics is exactly right, Mom Max. You don't need to have an obligation to cover something that you don't actually want to cover. Well, so... <laughs> Uh, the reason why I went after Charlie is because, you know, I, I feel like he uploads daily, he live streams a lot. It, it wouldn't be too hard to like, you know, just make one upload about it. Whereas like, if it's like, I'm not going to reach out to like Lex Friedman or Andrew Huberman who are already doing important work, like like you said, like Israel versus Palestine. Um, I don't know. I think um, it is true. People could be reaching out to me. Hey, why aren't you covering this? But it's like, I feel like what I'm working on with Spencer and the survivors is important enough to put my focus into. Whereas um, with someone like Charlie, I feel like he he could be doing more with with each upload, you know? I mean, um, no, I hear you. And like, you're right. If Moist Critical did make a video talking about this situation. Assumingly, I think you were asking him to do it so more victims would potentially come out so you could get a better case to get him, uh, you know, to file a police report better. That's what I assume you're contacting him for. And that is true. If you would make a video, you probably would have a like more successful time doing that or like find the, filing the reports. But I mean, I just don't think, I think you're trying to force him in a sense or try to like use this moral su- superiority the guilt like to guilt trip him into covering it at this point and trying to manipulate it in him into doing it which i think uh just makes you look bad in the whole thing and kind of trivializes the thing you're trying to call out and having a whole bunch of people like me just roll their eyes at the situation because of the way you're covering it which is just doing you a disservice yeah that's exactly right you shouldn't force people like lyrics for example to talk about this because let's say if I wanted to talk about the Gerard Mayo situation of him being a new head coach of the New England Patriots, then I would rather talk about that than the stupid, pointless case of Candom Gerard Davis, which I don't care about, by the way. I don't care about this at all. I'm only making this video to call you out and to call you out only for the shitty things that you're doing. Well, at least I have your eyes, though. I mean, don't you think you've cut, made like bigger documentaries in our like hour-long videos before, and they get way more attention, way more views? Don't you think the strategy would 
much be like it would serve better if you just made a fully fleshed out documentary explaining it and we've seen like moist critical he reacts to videos all the time on stream i guarantee if you would make a big hour to two hour long documentary sent it to fucking moist critical he would cover it way he's like he wouldn't there's much a higher chance that he would cover on stream and give more eyes to it as opposed to the approach you're taking now and we're trying to manipulate him and guilt trip him into covering it instead you know what i mean i get what you're saying um so th the thing is this is all part of the documentary like all the live streams all the videos all the reaching out this is all going into the documentary the thing is we wanted action as soon as possible because we are trying to bring together hundreds of child survivors that might still be in camden's cult and the urgency i felt um justified the means i would I, I think did you go to law enforcement with it but hey next time you'll think twice before you live stream to let your victims tell their story live instead keep it behind closed doors that the, I, that makes sense i understand okay okay here, here, I, want, here I, want, I want to go back to the approach though because you know I'm, I'm 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 here to talk about that mainly you know they're doing their own thing with like filing the reports or whatever but i i'm more yeah, like I my think critiques I know where you're going. of yeah. fucking like mama max going about this because i know a lot of people and i know you've seen the comments too mama max you can't deny a lot of people are writing off your story just because of the way that you're covering it and the way that you're going about it like you've seen that right yes sir um Oh, let me just read off this this uh, donation from Carpimp. Uh, she said, "Guilt trip. I wish YouTubers cared about victims." Yes, I don't give a fuck about the victims. I'll only give a fuck about the victims if they do these things first. Number one, go to law enforcement. Number two, victims should not be sharing their story live on a live stream in the middle of a police investigation. And three, never ever ask any YouTube content creator or YouTube live streamer or Twitch streamer to talk about someone who allegedly inappropriately touched a woman. Never do that. Um, and what? I don't know, I feel like, <laughs> I've talked to other pedo hunters and other people who've, who've, um... Are you a pedo you know, hunter? <laughs> I was, now I'm, uh... That's a hell of a name, you know? Job application. I appreciate it. But, um, I don't know, we always receive pushback. Always. Like, it doesn't matter, like, no one likes the way you cover a specific thing because it's... It, it is a sensitive topic that is always um that's a okay I, I hear what you're saying that's a really convenient way to wipe off any criticism though and say like you know people are not going to like it no matter what i'm doing so therefore i can never well i you know like I, you're doing I, it I in a unique know. way you know there's been multiple like predator hunters yes. of course you have fucking like retards like those like predator poachers guy who were just trying to insult edp back in the day trying to do that sting or whatever those guys are fucking dipshits that's how you don't cover it but you can cover these things the right way and the wrong way and i think you've seen an overwhelming amount of people saying that you're covering it a wrong way and you're going about it the wrong way where it's just like getting people to like more trivialize it and laugh at it as opposed to like really caring like I, i'm not gonna what lie man i watched your video and it's, it was so over dramatic it almost just became like a parody of like a pedo hunter yeah i second with this motion that you need to turn down the visuals it is not necessary for you to grab someone's attention like this just be normal um <laughs> Yeah. A lot of people are offended. Like, okay. so this is. What do you think, Spencer? I'm so sorry. I spaced out a little bit. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm asking um, you. Um, so to address what you were saying. Mm -hmm, uh, to address what you were saying. So you, uh, you said I went at it a unique way, right? And that makes people laugh at it. 
it more came across as parody and you were just wiping it off as saying that you know any way that people cover this they're always gonna have like you're always gonna have haters you're always gonna have complaints but that's not true that's a very like convenient way to wipe off any criticism but you did it well, a uniquely different way that is getting you a lot of shit i think a lot of people do deal with um pushback but that is not oh, what my response is i'm just putting that out there i did go about it a unique way um and you know to you know you you may not have liked it but there are other people who are saying you know you're doing the right thing keep up the good fight uh i feel like everyone's gonna have a different opinion about it no matter which way you slice it um for the record, I am not okay with the vague answer that he is giving out. Man, you you really get vague answers, don't you? <laughs> well, what, what were you looking for? Okay, so they just, I guess, uh, circling back around to the thing I was talking about, where it comes across as manipulative, how you were trying to, I guess, like guilt trip Charlie into covering this. I guess I think what's it would your be a because a guilt trip if he didn't cover it and then i started harassing him i think so what i was doing well, that's what I, that's what you did though like you dm'd him for days on end and then once he didn't respond to your dm you then made it a public thing and added him and then like tried to get your audience to go and like shit on him and max is trying to contact you and you know you know what you're doing like you know you know what those people are going to say they're going to be mad and saying and they're going to have the implication that charlie isn't covering this damn he must not really use his platform for good causes he must not be looking out for kids that are like getting abused by this black like well, uh like vampire pedophile you know i i think i made it clear in the video that he has stood up for injustices before and that's why i'm reaching out to him um and doing so publicly because that will get his attention you should only do it publicly if if it gets news coverage from the news media otherwise you better only do it privately instead because do it publicly especially live on stream on youtube is at best mishandling the situation and it's most likely the wrong way to go about this does that make sense yeah but it, yeah inherently it's it just okay comes if i add something uh, <laughs> just keep that something real quick uh, no, I, no, no, I think... no show the photo no, show the photo okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, sorry okay just like the thing is is that like watching your video you even put like little videos of dogs together it was so funny it was like most critical look here's a video of you playing with your dogs look i have dogs too and all these victims they have dogs too why don't we just hold hands and get along together it just came across as like very 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 manipulative and this guy didn't respond to your text messages for seemingly a reason do you think he just didn't see them and uh, like, like you thought you couldn't contact him anywhere else other than making a public video, in a sense, calling him out? Or do you Absolutely. think he just... So you think he didn't see them, or he just chose to ignore you? Uh, it could have been either. I don't know what the situation was, uh, but, um... I felt it was a subject matter that required his attention, and, um... I still do think it, it would require his attention. I think he could do, um, I think a video from him could be very helpful to the survivors. I still believe that. You know. I don't, I don't think being a patient was the right way to go about this. The way you then tried to get his attention on a video is extremely inappropriately bad. And that was the main thing that Lyrics was criticizing you, Monomax, on stream for, and you decided to try to him live a false flag privacy complaint. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you?